Hello Internet, here's a quick tip. You can start a new PowerShell process using the start process command from PowerShell. And so if you just type start process PowerShell, you'll get a new PowerShell prompt. Uh, but if you want to start a new admin shell, say you're running on a remote server somewhere and you need an administrative prompt to actually do some administrative tasks on that server, in order to do that, you can also use start process. Uh, and this actually works for most programs that you're going to be using this for. So you would give it the name of the, com the program, so we're just going to do PowerShell. Yeah, let's make this, let's go over here. <laughs> do start process PowerShell. And then we just need to give it a verb, and we're just going to say run as. And so this is going to run it as an admin. And so we get our use UAC, our user account control, to pop up. Uh, and if we accept that, we get an administrative command prompt. And so this is sort of a way to start uh, an administrative shell of, of any kind that you want. Uh, but this also works for other things. If we want an administrative command prompt for some reason, uh, we can do the same thing. And so now this is an administrative pr command prompt. Um, you'll notice that these are all these administrative prompts are all opening to Windows System 32. You can't change that, unfortunately. There isn't a, there isn't a way to provide that with Start Process. You can provide a working directory, so I could provide like a working directory dot. Uh, but if I do that, it doesn't work, uh, and that's because you can't take this through the uh, run as command. Uh, so when you start opening something as an admin, uh, it loses that that working directory. Uh, so unfortunately, you can't, can't take that. But once you have an admin prompt, uh, you can uh, open things. So if we do start process, uh, we'll do this won't work. We're in whatever. We're in our command prompt. So I'm going to just start PowerShell in a command prompt because you can do that. Uh, and we are going to do start process. Uh, and let's do just PowerShell verb run as and working directory. Uh, and let's just do C. Uh, and so this should start it in our C drive. And so we didn't get a UAC prompt. We didn't get a, a permission request because we were already in an administrator prompt. And so this works. And we once you're in an administrative prompt, you can provide another working directory and change things. Uh, but you just can't do that when you're switching contexts between an admin and a non-admin user. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just a really quick way to, to start a process in, in, from PowerShell and change the access level that that process is going to have on your computer. So yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. And hopefully this helps you in whatever project you're using it for. So until then, next time. See you, Internet.